Hi there YouTube, Man Above The Morgue aka Vampire H and also representing the XBLGamerHub.com For all you that saw my previous unboxing videos of Tomb Raider and Injustice Gods Among Us um, I stated that I would be bringing the Riptide Survivor Edition So here we are, Riptide Survivor Edition, this is uh, exclusive to EB Games Let's have a look what's inside the box So here we go, Dead Island Riptide Survivor Edition Comes in a collector's tin Nice and metal. Um, it's like a double thickness or triple thickness actual box. Deadline and Riptide on the side. Survivor Edition up on the top. They yeah, are a bit better if you see it the right way up. 18 rated. Xbox 360. Uh, Survivor Edition on the base. Now inside the box, so obviously we pop the tin. We got the Dead Island Riptide box, uh, Riptide game. usual sort of stuff so instruction manual and obviously the game with the game art I've actually been kind of looking forward to this game um, it's more of a rather than a standalone game more of an add-on or, or a continuation of the previous game so if you played the previous game this will be a ni nice one to continue the story intro introduces uh, new characters and so on from there Furthermore, inside the box, we have the Fire for Survival Continues and DLC codes. Now, obviously, these codes aren't going to work because I would have already uh, accessed them prior. So, you get um, Fashion Victim and Survivor's Pack. Um, I believe the Fashion Victim is actually available online now for, I think, if I remember right, 120. 120 or 160 Microsoft points. Um, there's various um, DLCs that are available out there. So there's that. Don't forget to redeem. And inside here, this was a worldwide exclusive to EB Games of Australia. Um, it's like a Survivor Diary stroke book. So let's pop this open. Feels like a nice PVC finish. Dead Island Riptide. All the way around, it's got a bloody handprint on the back, and inside, as you can see, it's just like a typical Giotta stroke notebook with Riptide put on every single page. So, there we have it Dead Island Riptide Survivor Edition. So, there we have it Dead Island Riptide Survivor Edition, which is exclusive to EB Games. Um, for all you guys and girls out there, that's seen my previous unboxing videos just like normal I'm going to drop the first five or ten minutes of the actual game footage at the end now further to this um, over the next few months there's not too many game releases that I'm actually going to get my hands on so what I'm going to do I'm going to do like a little collector's corner and show some of the previous collector's editions that I actually own um, give you guys a look at ones that you may may know of, ones that you may have missed, or ones that you didn't even know existed. So please stay tuned and like normal, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys real soon. I always thought I wasn't worth a damn. Even when I made All-Pro quarterback, even at the top of my game, leading my team to the championship, deep down I didn't think I deserved any of it. But everything had come crashing down. <laughs> and damn it if I wasn't right. But did I learn from that? Did I change who I was? Hell no. I just enjoyed wallowing in my own goddamn misery. Yeah, boo-hoo, right? Well. I'm done with that. Seeing the whole world go to hell puts your own goddamn problems in perspective a little bit. I would have died at the raw palms for sure if good people didn't put their lives in the line for me. Not to mention what happened in Moresby in that goddamn jungle. I've seen some sick and horrible things, brother. But I've also seen people sacrifice everything for some poor soul they hardly know. When you're saving some terrified some bitch's ass, you don't have time to wallow in self-pity. There's a lesson there. <laughs> Shit, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm not that fucking smart. 
But I do know one thing, man. Logan Carter ain't as big a douchebag as everybody thought he was. My name's Perna, and I'm going to tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Vinoy, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamore saved my life. Soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on him. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the Colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoy? Well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Nerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Oh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Lab? Uh, hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man! I got motherfucking rights! Back off, Serpo, but just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. 
Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? Motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us? <laughs> right. That's why I'm beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Damn, man, my head's killing me. Where's everybody else? They take him while I was out? Been to hell and back. Now I'm locked up in this ship. Fucking great. This is Colonel Hart. The ship's being compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell doors. Alright, gotta find a way out of here. Hope this tub has some life rafts. Huh. Those assholes were everywhere earlier. Now they're gone?
gotta be something around here I can use as a weapon. You moron. should be clear. Whoever took care of that, you deserve a commendation. You just saved a lot of lives. Gotta get my ass out of here.
you. I'm not dying here. So there we have it. Uh, forgotten. <laughs> By the way, this is Hunter. He's my little boy. And he's going to hate me now because I just disturbed him. So I'm going to put him back on the couch and continue with the rest of this video. So, say hello, Hunter.